and the course taking on the new paradigm set by the dressage. So now we'll see how these horses that started their tests here on Thursday and Friday will come out on the final day. But Mickey Young, Fisher O'Connor FST, looking to make history. Already three wins in a row at this venue. They seek a fourth, and they're out in front today. Previously, though, she's always had a pole in hand. Today, he doesn't. Marilyn Little and RF Scandalous. Marilyn was the leader after dressage for the United States of America. It's 2008, the last time there was a U.S. winner. Marilyn and Scandalous really also thinking about that World Games this year. They just picked up a few time penalties in the last third of the course yesterday on cross country to go down the order. Lynn Szymanski and Donna, the thoroughbred, Donna the deer. He's already been a World Games uh, competitor for the USA. She has moved right up with a super cross country round yesterday to be the current uh, challenger for the USEF National Four Star Championship. Christopher Burton with his Burley winner from 2016, Nobilis 18, so close after dressage, he moves up into second place after cross country, again with a foot perfect round. We've said it before, we'll say it again. Mickey Young is in the lead in Kentucky with Fisher O'Connor. What was the interesting thing yesterday, though, that it wasn't foot perfect. He was one second over the time, and that one second could be critical. That could make all the difference in whether he can hold on for the win today. Also there, challenging for the Rolex Grand Slam of eventing with no less than two horses inside the top five. Oliver Townend with Cooley Masterclass and MHS King Jewels. And here now, jumping for top five or better, Marilyn Little. With Jackie Mars, Phoebe and Michael Manders, RF Scandalous, the Pan Am Games individual gold medalist and uh, Grand Prix show jumper as well. Jump show jumping here in five of their last six internationals, but they do it here when it really counts. Oh, we have Ollie Townen and his Cooley Masterclass, and this is his opportunity to stay in the Grand Slam. Ah, uh, one more to go. Here we go. The dream stays alive. <laughs> Oliver Townen is guaranteed podium today, and the pressure is Gets it so, done. so on. Mickey and Fisher O'Connor have won it three years in a row, and this would be four in a row. Just simply outstanding. That's the, why the man is the world number one. It's why he's the double Olympic gold medalist. He is just incredibly consistent. Win over all of that. No! Whoa. We have a British winner and a possible Grand Slam winner next week. The cycle has been broken for Fisher O'Connor and the story now becomes the Rolex Grand Slam of eventing as Oliver Townend takes the, Ro the Land Rover Kentucky for 2018 to follow up on his Land Rover Burley win last September.